All right, grab for me DNA history and structure and replication part two. Okay, so I know yesterday was good, but this is the really good stuff. Like now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of genetics. Okay, so it says today is all about DNA replication. And that's the process of, you know, replicating DNA, right? So DNA replication is where we're going to copy your entire genome. And that happens in the S phase of interphase. So if you're looking right here, it's happening right here. The S phase of interphase. So um, on your notes it says this occurs during the S phase of the cell cycle. Okay, so, so when DNA copies itself, it makes an exact or a complementary, if you see that on two, copy. DNA, here we see, is semi-conservative. So it's complementary, yet it's half old, half new. So if you look, the blue right here is the old, the dark blue. And then that separates, so the DNA is going to separate, and it's going to build onto both of the old strands. So then you have two strands. And so now it's like, right here, it's half old, semi half old, half new. So DNA is semi-conservative, and this was discovered by Matthew Melson and Franklin Stahl. Um, they proposed this model in 1958. And remember, I'm not going to ask you any dates on the exam, but just to kind of give you an idea. It shows the original DNA side serving as a template or a guide or a recipe or instructions, because that's what DNA is. Easy as ABC, one, two, three? No. Easy as A pairs with T and C pairs with G. Okay, so the replication work is being done in opposite directions. So what opposite directions? Okay, let's look this way. Um, you can see here that this arrow is pointing this way and this arrow is pointing that way. So it's being done in opposite directions. And the origin is the starting point. So if you look at this picture right here, there's the origin of replication. And it's like it's moving in opposite directions. So you can tell, look at this picture, like one is replicating in three different places. And then it gets bigger on two. And then it's like all the way replicated. So you have two perfect strands, two complementary strands um, on three. The enzyme helicase is the one that actually unzips it. Okay, so helicase is the the enzyme that unzips the DNA. So DNA replication elongation, aka copy in the DNA. Okay, so check out, let's see. Hang on a second, let me pull out another picture. Okay, here we go. DNA helicase is the enzyme that's actually unzipping it. In this picture, I actually don't see helicase, but I still think this is the best picture. So look right here. That purple blob right there would be helicase. And it is unzipping the DNA. Okay, and then on A, under DNA replication elongation, your notes say, elongation of the DNA complementary side will require the enzyme DNA polymerase 3. So look right here. Here it is. It's, it's an orange. DNA polymerase is on both sides. There's more than one of them, and they're both DNA polymerase 3. So there's a bunch of DNA polymerase 3s. Okay, so DNA polymerase 3 is the enzyme that lays down the nucleotides. It's the most important enzyme. It's the enzyme that builds DNA. Poly means many. So it's building many nucleotides. It's building the DNA. So it performs the addition of new nucleotides in the complementary side. So it's the one that's actually building it. If I was an enzyme, I would want to be DNA polymerase. So, the, so you can tell, look right here at this picture. DNA polymerase is working this way on the top strand. And on the bottom strand, it's working that way. Okay, so look here at this picture. You can see there's DNA polymerase laying it down. Phosphate... Phosphate, sugar, 
nitrogen base. It's laying down the nucleotides. And you can see right here it says 5 prime, 3 prime. So what it is is DNA is anti-parallel. And this is confusing. We're going to go over it again tomorrow in class so that you can understand it better. But DNA is always made, so I want you to, on number one, make sure you put a star by this. DNA is always made 5 prime to 3 prime. DNA is always made 5 prime to 3 prime. So going back to this picture, it's being made or laid down 5, 2, and that would be a 3 if there was one there. 5 prime to 3 prime. So here it's going this way. Here it's going this way. And that word is, make sure you know this word, anti-parallel. Okay, helicase is enzyme causes the double helix to unwind. And besides C, I want you to do me a favor and write in and unzip. So helicase is the enzyme that unwinds and unzips. It's a single-stranded binding protein is right here, this green one. Single-stranded binded protein right there. And that's going to be the enzyme that holds it still. Holds DNA still. So write that in. Holds DNA still. Okay. The leading strand is going to be the one. It's not necessarily always on top, but in this picture it is. The leading strand is where DNA polymerase is working in the same direction as helicase. So, so the uh, single-stranded binding proteins hold it still. Okay, and then we're on the leading strand. The leading strand is the one that builds DNA in the direction that helicase is cutting. So it says in your notes... Um, the leading strain of the replication, remember there are two forks going in opposite directions, so there's a leading and a lagging. This strand's run in a continuous 5 to 3. To start adding nucleotides, we first need to attach RNA primers. So that's just where you start. Like when you're painting sheetrock, you prime it before you paint it when you build a house or when you paint your room. And then it says using primase. Okay, so beside leading strain, I want you to write in builds... DNA in the direction helicase cuts. And make sure you've written that in. Builds DNA in the direction that helicase cuts. All right, then there's the slackers. Slacker, slacker. Right here. Okay, since it's got to go backwards, it's got to build, DNA's got to build this way. Polymerase, the orange one, is going this way on the bottom strand. It's not always the bottom, but in this picture it is. Okay, so it has to... So this is what happens right here. Watch this. Okay. It lays down some DNA, and then when helicase cuts it more, it has to come back and lay down some more. And then it has to come back and lay down some more. So that's the lagging strand. This side of replication fork has DNA not running in a 5 to 3 direction. So, therefore, it has to build it in the opposite direction. This side of the fork has to wait a long time before it can build it. When a long segment has opened the helicase, then the RNA is laid down. And so instead of doing it in one continuous DNA, it does it in what's called Okazaki fragments, like a little Japanese man's last name. Okazaki fragments are stitched together with the enzyme called ligase. And we'll talk lots more about this tomorrow in class. So Okazaki fragments are on the lagging strand. You want to know that. Okazaki fragments are on the lagging strand. This function is uh, to help it because it has to be built 5 to 3. DNA has to be built 5 to 3. So the leading strand goes in one continuous direction. But the lagging strand has to go in opposite directions. All right, let's see what happens when you make a mistake. Now, there would be more mistakes on the lagging strand because it's having to go in the opposite direction, so it's struggling. It's on the struggle bus. All right, what happens when you got a mistake? Okay, think about this like you're typing a paper. 
error. So I, in your notes, I'm on four, Roman numeral four. DNA polymerase is still the, the fixer. Mismatch pair is when the wrong nucleotide is added. So like when A accidentally, when A accidentally pairs with C, you can see a mistake right there, then you have to cut it out with nuclease, nuclease, cut it out, and then DNA polymerase would add a new one right there, and then ligase would come in and stitch it all back together. Okay, so let's go over that again. There is a mutation. You cut it out with nuclease. There's that word. I just strike through it instead of highlighting it. Nuclease. You repair it with polymerase. And you stitch it together with ligase. Ligase is always the stitcher. Polymerase is always the builder. So the only new one here is nuclease. So what? Question mark on number C or letter C. Errors in proofreading. Oh, gotta go back. Errors in proofreading can result in some form of cancer. Because cancer, all cancer is, is a mutated cell when one of your cells mutates. For instance, some individuals are genetically predisposed to skin cancer. They're they're um like they it's in their DNA. They are more likely to get it. So they have that, like a higher predisposition, like they, they're more predisposed to it, so they may get it um, if they, you know, it's in their DNA. So it says, because they have a mutation in the gene that codes for the excision repair enzyme. So they like may not can cut it out with nuclease. All right, I hope that was helpful. And I know this lecture was hard, and so we're going to go over it again tomorrow in class, so don't be concerned.